In this video, we're going to be taking a normal USB drive and turning it into this. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel here. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Today, we're going to be diving into the cheapest cybersecurity tool you can probably build. So basically, in this video, we're going to be taking a normal USB drive and turning it into this. Right here you see is a bootable flash drive. Um, basically the whole operating system is running off of this device. This computer is a Windows 10 computer, but all I had to do is plug in this device and boot off of it and I have a whole different computer. So I, this is a really great when you wanna do some testing and you wanna learn tools in Kali. And again, the reason why this is so cheap and so nice is that all you really need is a flash drive and you get all these tools. Hold on, let me pull it up for you. And with Kali Linux, you get all these free hacking and cybersecurity tools already built into the OS. You don't need to download anything else. Um, I have everything ranging from Wi-Fi attacks to database assessments to pretty much anything here. Everything is pretty much already preloaded to this Wireshark's in here. So, uh, and again, it's free. So the OS is free. The only thing you have to pay for is this cheap flash drive and in this video we're going to break it down to how to make one of these things and also just to mention the reason why this is important is because for someone i'm i'm beginning my, my journey of cybersecurity, and from everywhere i learn and turn to they say that you need to know linux it's a giant skill you should have learn the command the terminal um you need to learn uh, bash you need to learn python so those things that go hand in hand with linux that this is a really good way to test your skills. This is a dummy computer that I already have. This one I do attacks on all the time to practice pen testing and bad USB attacks. Find a junk computer to test on because you don't need that much hardware. All you need is this flash drive and you can pretty much take any old laptop and have it run as a full Cali's Linux machine. So nevertheless, let's get into this video about how to make one of these cool devices so you can just get in there and play yourself. One thing you need to do before you start this project is to turn off secure boot on whatever device you have so all you gotta do is go into your bios so as soon as you turn a computer on either you're gonna hit one of the f keys or the escape key you spam it like i do on this hp stream here you spam it and then you go over to wherever it says boot options for me it says it right here and click on boot options we're going to disable secure boot So that's gonna allow us to plug whatever device we plug in the boot off of. So it's that easy. So secure boot is not that secure. Um, the way to actually make it a secure boot is to actually put a BIOS password. So if you really wanna lock down a device so people can't do something like this, put a BIOS password and that should stop. Next thing you need to do is download Rufus. Rufus is a free open source portable application from Microsoft Windows that can be used to format and create bootable flash drives or live USBs. Pay attention, do not hit the big buttons that say download. Don't pay attention to those stupid things because you end up downloading things you don't wanna download. You're just gonna scroll down to right here. It should say Rufus 4.4. EXE standard Windows 64. Download that one. It should be the top one. Just download that one. And you're going to see it download there. Click on it. It's going to ask you for do you want to make changes to your device? You're going to say yes. All right. Now you should see the application. So or the top bar is going to be your storage device. So now this is a good time to plug it in. Uh, for me, you're going to see when I plug mine in, it's already going to see Kali Linux on it. I'm just going to rewrite over this one just for the purpose of this video. Um, just keep in mind when you do this stuff, it formats the USB drive. So if you have any sensitive stuff on you don't want to lose, don't use that one. I would recommend using a brand new one or one you don't care about ruining. Because once you format it, it's like a brand new one. So just be careful. Just know that's what's going to happen when you do this process. Um, select that fast drive. You can see mine there. Um, now for the second step, you need to get the ISO image of Kali Linux to install onto that USB device. So you're going to have to type in Kali Linux, click on the Kali Linux page here. Um, it should look like this if you did it correctly. Um, you're going to go down to the bottom where it says Live Boot. That's where you want to click. So click on Live Boot and then you just do the recommended one. It, it's to be the one that pops up right in the middle. Just click on that guy and you should be good to go. Let that download. So you're going to go back to Rufus and you're going to select where it says Boot Selection. You're going to click on that and then click on the live ISO that you just downloaded. So click on that. Okay, so if you did it correctly in the boot selection, you should see your ISO image that you downloaded recently. Um, now you're gonna hit click the start button. 
and it's a couple pop-ups that are gonna come up just click okay it's gonna warn you about formatting your usb drive you're gonna lose everything just hit okay we talked about that earlier and just hit the start button and now we wait so give me a heads up this should take probably like 20 minutes so right now is a good time to go grab a cup of coffee because you probably need it just like i need it and i'll get back to you i'm gonna speed this up all right i'm back i have my cup of coffee so then when it's done it should say ready so now you're just gonna eject the usb drive it's always a good common practice to do it the right way if you just pull the usb drive you have risk of corrupting it or breaking it somehow just, just do it this way it's safer Go ahead and click on eject. It should give you a little thing saying it's okay to unplug it now. Unplug it and now take it over to your computer. All right, so you're ready to go. So now let's just verify here. I don't have anything plugged into the computer. We're gonna turn this guy on. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, it booted into Windows. So again, nothing's plugged into this. This is a normal Windows 10 machine. So now we're going to plug in in the bootable USB that we just made with Calvi Linux on it. Plug it in and then just shut down the computer we're going to scroll down to usb one okay there you go and then you're going to hit live system so we don't have it set up for persistence so persistence is where you're able to save like files so it's like a computer that you constantly save but i like the idea of this guy right here no matter what you do it resets so whatever configurations and things you do while you're learning Kali Linux, it doesn't affect this. Like you can pl plug it, plug it back in. There's no trace, no nothing. It's just, it's a clean start every single time you plug in this device. So this is going to do its thing to boot up. And while I'm talking, while it's booting up, I'll talk to you. There it goes. So again, you're running a whole operating system off of this guy right here. And this flash drive again is about eight gigabits, um, gigabytes. Um, I recommend just, that's all you really need. I wouldn't go too crazy. Again, you don't really need that much for Kali Linux or any kind of Linux distro because it just doesn't use that much as when it comes to resources. So you can also, cheap, crappy laptops you have at home, I'm gonna make a, a separate YouTube video. That's that guy back there. That was a dead laptop. Um, don't worry about it, I had to do something with the light, but that's a dead laptop that I turned into a Kali Linux machine. I actually did an installation. So I have, I have Kali installed onto that. So that's my dedicated Kali Linux device that was a broken PC that I recovered. So we'll do a YouTube video on that guy, um, how to set something up like that. But for now, for testing, this way you don't break your computer at home. You Having your whole computer on this flash drive is way safer, especially when you're trying to learn. Uh, if you don't want to install a whole operating system on your PC at home, this is just better because as soon as you're done, you just unplug it and it goes back to being your Windows computer. So. I find this very cheap and effective and for someone like me, I need to learn more how to use terminal. I need to learn more bash. And again, this has so many tools built into it for free. It's the best way to get your foot in the door and to make it look cooler. So I end up taking the housing off to make it look a little cooler. So when you show your friends or you want to show somebody this, this, this plugged in, well, I can get it to focus. This plugged into the computer looks way more sketchier than just a regular flash drive, but it's up to you. This is more stealthy. No one really expect anything out of this, but if you had this plugged into computer lighting up, it kind of looks a little, uh, little sus, but it's up to you. Personally, I like this because I just think it looks cooler and it helps me identify which ones are my normal flash drives. Well, that's not normal, but a normal flash drive versus one of the ones I use for uh, a bootable, bootable Kali or anything. You don't, you don't have to use Kali too as well. You can use Parrot, Security OS, that's another good one. Um, even if you want to download any other uh, Linux-based operating systems, you can do like this, Ubuntu, um, Arch, anything you want to test out, any operating system, you want to, operating system you want to learn and test out with Linux, you can. You can just follow the same process as we did today. But this video is focused on cybersecurity, and Kali Linux is the most used. I recommend that one. So, All right, so it's still loading, so we'll just give it a minute. All right, it took a minute, but here we are. We are in Kali Linux. We're off of our bootable flash drive that we made and has Kali Linux operating system on it and we're good to go. So now you're ready to go look at all the tools. Just I highly recommend just getting in there and just playing around. If you're someone that's completely new to Linux and completely new to Kali Linux, just dive in because there's not much you can do that really break what you've done. And if you did, this is an eight dollar device or even less. I mean I'll, I'll post to how much this is going to be. This is like a less than ten dollars a cybersecurity tool that you use for learning. So I highly recommend this. This is what you need to learn, even with AI coming out, taking over a lot of the jobs, jobs 
cybersecurity jobs out there, um, you're still going to need people that understand Linux and understand Python and understand Bash. And again, that's what I'm learning as well, is that you want to study the things now in 2024 that have become relevant in 2025 and so on. So some, you don't really need to spend so much time learning some of the other stuff. Focus on the stuff that really matters. So knowing Kali and knowing uh, Linux is big out in the field for cybersecurity. So and that's what I'm learning too. So I, I'm in the same boat. So as I learn, I'll make new videos. And now again, I'm still learning too. So we're going to be learning together. So again, this is one of the most best, beneficial, cheapest DIY projects you can possibly do when it comes to cybersecurity. Just dive in, just do it. Um, if you have any problems, let me know in the comments section. And let me go back to how to make it look cool. So that's how it looks like with the housing on it. Um, this is a cheap one, so it was easy to pry all the plastic pieces off, but you can pretty much use this as a USB. You just plug it in and you get the same effect. That just looks cooler when you don't have the housing on it. So I'm gonna be diving into the Wi-Fi bad USB. It's probably be the next DIY cybersecurity project. Um, that one's about between 30 to $50 project, uh, but this one's under $10. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe once again. Always be careful when you're using this stuff. And remember, don't do anything illegal. Uh, this is for educational purposes only. I make these videos so we can learn cybersecurity together. So I'll see you in the next one.